<coughs> Sorry. <coughs> well, didn't mean to start the vlog off like that. Damn, like I said, it was uh, still getting that rattle on my chest. But it's finally nice enough for me to go outside. I know the one thing I need to do is change the oil in the terrain. I'm at like 1%. But as you can hear, I already came out a bit ago. Started the sand rail up. Get that thing idling. Then I need to start the GTO up. Get its monthly idling out of the way. Oh yeah. Fans just kicked on. Nice enough, sunny enough. Good, we'll get this done. Big truck, I still haven't messed with that. Seeing if it can I run, I might need to change the starter out on it. Might just be getting old and weak. Poo. Oh, poos. Then might get the start the razor up and go down and check my mail just to get that thing running around and getting some shit done. Did some stuff inside today while it's been <coughs> warming up. And I got more stuff to do. I need to eat at some point. Starving. Woo! Ecstatic. 614. My hands aren't terribly cold. But, um, got everything done. It's gonna be dark. Woo! Oh, shit. Got the, uh, <coughs> all the vehicles started except for the GTO. I didn't want to fire because it's a, a cold, it's a cold blooded bad word so I got the maintainer on it and we'll get her fired up maybe tomorrow or so but that was good got all the other vehicles and everything else started I and ran while I changed the oil on the train so that is done though and I am happy oh and I forgot last night to set anything out and so I have nothing to eat and nothing to immediately eat so, I'm gonna run into North Creek somewhere. Whatever tickles my fancy, I'm gonna go get something to eat. Look at that. All done. Yeah, my little counter was at 0%, like change now. I was gonna change it springtime, but my Arizona trip kinda threw a wrench in that plan. Well, after I got my food, I ate it there, made a phone call, talked to mom. Just uh, real quick, I've just kind of been in thinking a lot with a lot of what I'm doing, accomplishing, and everything else that I've been going on. And just what something that just recently happened was just to have good intentions, do what's right. So much of it, like sometimes we can second guess, you know, actions and decisions that we made. But as long as you put in the due diligence, the thoughts, the pondering, just the everything, weighing everything out and understanding of who you are and what you need and what you are and what what fulfills you. You need to make sure that stays the number one priority and you're not trying to take advantage of somebody or take from somebody or misguide. You know, treat somebody wrong. Just do the right thing. Do what's right. Do what you believe is right. Do what you need to do, not necessarily just what you want to do. Because sometimes want is an immediate impulse reaction. Doing what you need to do is not always the easiest thing. That's because it comes from your heart, but it's right. Follow those good intentions. Do what you need to do. I promise it'll give you good karma and you'll win in the end. Even if you feel like you're missing out on something in the now. <clears throat> I, my chest can just, I was thinking, I was like, I need to take a bath. So I'm going to take a bath. 
really help loosen a lot of stuff up and everything else. And then uh, I'm gonna get a couple things done. And I think what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start getting back into a good routine, really good morning routine. Like getting up at 6 a.m., coming, you know, and either start working out first thing in the morning or doing like, you know, either doing like a morning routine or actually doing a full routine and doing something at night as well or something like that. But I'm just going to start really getting into good routine and mind exercises and body exercise and really start narrowing down and getting onto where I need to be and what I need to be really focused on. I quit looking at my phone as much unless it's for work, like the first hour or so in the morning. <sighs> Excuse me. I feel like I'm just going to have them just straight me. I'm not even gonna look at my phone first thing in the morning. I'm just gonna get up and start doing what I need to do. You know, hopefully get my day started, you know, right about 8 a.m. So I'm gonna take my life back in control into my hands. Get my mind clear, get my body clear. It'll set me up for a clear future. <laughs>